first quarter. We are all tied up at nothing apiece. Kane Cooks with the punt. It is Davy and Potts with the return. And uh oh, he's got some room to run with. Potts ends up in the end zone, but it's called back on an illegal block in the back. So the Panthers get to start over back in their own zone. First and 15 on the 48. De Curtis Stroud was an issue all night. He takes it to the 39 to get the ball upfield for Washington Union. Third and second on the nine, and it is Stroud again with the ball. This time, he finds the end zone. Washington Union leads 7 nothing. Second quarter, third and four on the 43. Cooks pass. He's looking to Mason Degnan, and it is complete. It is good for a 10-yard gain. First and 10, Kane Cooks is going to take this one himself. He picks up the three-yard gain to keep the ball moving for the Hounds. Third and five, next play on the 28, and Ryan Brown intercepts Cooks right into the grippers. He read it perfectly. There is no hound in sight. It is a straight road to the end zone. Brown with the pick six, and the Panthers go up 14-0 on Hounds turf. Washington Union kicks it off. Jerome Dam Damery, and here come the Hounds. Damery with some room to run, and he takes off for some momentum. He is brought down at the Washington 34 yard line. It is fourth and fifth on the 17. Cooks looking for Cole Loney. And that pass with some great defense is incomplete. The ball is overturned on downs. And after scoring another touchdown, Washington Union elects to go for the onside kick with time winding down. And it's Panthers who recover the ball. They keep their momentum going. They were an issue all night. Second and eight, Jason Torres with some time. And he completes the pass to Taven Holland to the 11 seconds on the clock and Torres keeps it himself and he is in there for a Panthers touchdown 27 nothing Washington Union first and 10 on the 45 Cooks finds Tyler Buchemeyer downfield and he is down at the Panthers 17 yard line there is no time left on the clock at this point third and two on the 10 Cooks pass incomplete to Mason Degman. The Hounds could not score to end the first half and that is how the tide rolled in North County. Down go the reigning CIF Central Section champs in an impressive undefeated regular season. Atascadero falls to Washington Union 41-13. The Greyhounds had a terrific season but that Panthers run game proved to be too tough 